Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Minecraft Regrowth. So this is a HQM mod pack and it's available for download on the FTB launcher. I'll be leaving a link in the description to the video on how you can download the FTB launcher and then you can get this game under the third parties tab and you can play along yourself. So let's get on with it because there's lots to do before the first night falls. So first of all, let's just listen to the initial scene set. You've awoken from slumber once more, but this time things seem a little different. The world itself appears dead around you, a wasteland stretching off into the distance, dotted by the skeletons of trees, accompanied only by grey boulders. Even more curiously, the earth seems barren. Try as you might, you cannot find a single deposit of minerals underground, leaving you to wonder what to make of this world. As you look around, you start to think about what it will take to survive here and how you might try and help the world recover. So, there we go. Um, what a fantastic voice. What we've got to um, do then, basically, is uh, find a way to make, I mean, look at this, barren desert into something, uh, somewhere where we can live. And uh, let's start off and look at the uh, quests that we've got available. So we'll start off on what the world came to be. Let's just open that up. We've got this first one here, which is kill an Enderman. We're, we're not quite ready for that yet, so let's try this one. Let's try punching things. This desolate world seems littered with dead trees and these grey boulders of slate. You think you may be able to salvage some materials from them with your bare hands. On closer inspection, the small stumpy dead trees seem to be burnt to charcoal. So basically we've got to collect up these things, some dead wood, some charcoal and some flint. So let's go punch some trees. Okay, so charred log. Excellent, that's how we're going to get charcoal. And dead wood. Yeah, that's how we're going to get dead wood. Strange that. So let's just go and punch down a few of these. Another one over here. Luckily, there seems to be plenty of these about. I don't really want to um, travel too far away uh, from the spawn point at first because you may have noticed that there's absolutely no wildlife about and uh so therefore no sheep equals no bed and what i don't want to do is start up a base get killed and then not be able to find the base so what the on earth was that okay well pressing swiftly on i don't really want to get too involved with that that is for sure Let's just get. I don't want to fall in there. If I get extra from some of these big trees, I don't know. We'll go. We'll go and have a look at. Just gonna have a quick look at one of those. Got a feeling that I'm gonna need quite a bit of this to start off with, so. Try and make that a bit of a priority. It's midday already. Definitely don't want to get caught outside on the first night. And just grab that one. The others are too high. There we go. And... Slate. Excellent, that's how we get flint. So let's just get a few of these. Now, 
Looks as though they have two or three flint per block, which is good. So we know that we're not going to struggle to get hold of charcoal, and also we know that we're not going to struggle to get hold of flint. That's good. And grab these, and then hopefully we've uh, we've got enough just to get this first quest sorted. Excellent. So that's like a stack of flint. Right, let's have a look in the quest book. So we've done that, and we can claim 12 apples. Okay, so the next task, such a tool. The materials you scrounge from the boulders and dead trees should be sufficient to make some rudimentary tools. I'm not going to read all the way, way through this, but basically we've got to get a tool rod, binding, uh, axe head, pickaxe head, and a couple of shovel heads. And... Let's, let's have a look. Oh, excellent. Some fireworks for uh, getting the first achievement. That's pretty cool. Um, so, what do we... Okay, so we need two of those. That was easy. Uh, what do you get if you put it across the top? You get a pickaxe head. Is an axe head the same as a normal axe head pattern? Yes, it is. Right, and... Okay, that's how we get... I'm sure all the recipes are not going to be this easy. What was the other one that I needed? Oh, oh no, don't throw it on the floor. Ah, a wooden binding. Uh, no. How would you get a wooden binding? I don't know. Let's have a look in NEI for wooden binding. Wooden binding. Oh, okay, it's just two sticks in a diagonal. There we go. And once we have done that, we can turn in... Oh, no. We've got a detection task. Okay, we've got to actually put them together. So pickaxe tool rod binding the pickaxe head. Okay, right, let's put these together real quick. So I don't like the sound of that. Uh, what did I do wrong there? I'll just put a piece of flint in there. <laughs> right, there's our pickaxe. I'm going to presume that that's how we make a shovel. Then we want to make an axe. And the mattock is made like this. Excellent, where's the sun? The sun's going down fast. We need to get on with this. Uh... Pick one. Bone hand guard, bone crossbow. I think we have the Y guard. And then, okay, then we're going to make some tinkers tools. First of all, let's let's try and make a little bit of a safe area because I'm worried how quickly the uh, the sun is actually going down here. I'll try and gather up some sand as quickly as possible. Hopefully I've got enough time to create a, just a little walled off area. don't think I'm going to though. I think I'm going to have to bury into the, uh, I think I'm just going to have to bury into the sand. Hmm. Okay, let's just quickly grab some more wood. Then we're going to, we're just going to make a little hidey hole for the first night. Hopefully we'll have enough just to carry on with some uh, some of the other tasks. There we go. Let's grab a bit of that and let's uh, let's get into the ground. So I want my pickaxe back. Okay, and then we'll just uh, cover up this. Uh, we'll just cover up this entrance. 
Uh, where have we got some sand here? Excellent. Oh, come on. Right, there we go. So we'll just uh, put this around here, like so. Right, so let's make some torches so we can see what we're doing. Luckily, we did grab a little bit of this charcoal, so there we go. We've got some torches now, and we'll just pop one down here. There we go. And let's carry on and just mine this out a little bit because I'm not sure um how many nights we're gonna have to actually stay um in this hole excellent diorite You're right. I don't know how to say it. Excellent. That will do for now. Right, let's have a look at the quest book. So we have got to make uh, these items. Let's make the crafting table first. So well, let's just actually, let's just see what it says first of all. Patterned response. Basic tools are all well and good, but you should feel, but you feel you should put together a workshop of sorts with the means to make yourself better tools upon the materials becoming available. Any logs you may need might be able to be substituted for a reconstructed block of dead wood. Try craft nine dead wood planks together. You'll be able to make a crafting table by crafting a hatchet with a plank, though due to limitations, the hatchet must be fully repaired to do so. Right, let's have a look at that. So I've used my hatchet already. Do I have to make another one? Let's just do... No, no. Hang on a second. I need another handle and then another axe head. There we go. Right. And then we put that in there with a plank and we get a crafting table. Excellent. So we'll just pop... Oh, we get to keep the, uh, the hatchet as well. So we just pop that down there. And then we need to make a tool station. So basically the, the Tinker's tools. So how, first of all, we need to make patterns. Now I'm willing to bet that patterns are made. Yeah. So you just substitute normal wood planks for this, uh, for this dead wood. So we just pop those up there and a pattern and a piece of dead wood is a stencil table. Can we make a chest with these? Yes, yeah, excellent. We can. Well, let's make a couple of chests. Let's just get that one out of the middle and put that there. Okay, now we're going to pop one chest down here. And let's just put some of this, uh, some of this stuff that we don't need right away. The, some of these books. We'll pop those in there. Uh, crack sand, limestone there. We don't want that right now. Diorite, we don't want that right now. We've got some bone mill. I'm not sure where we got bone mill from, but I'm sure we'll, uh, I'm sure we'll find out. We'll put the, no, we need that out, don't we? Right. So if we put, let's go back into here, put the blunt patterns and the chest and we get a pattern chest. Uh, what else do we need? Ah, we need another uh, crafting table so that we can make one of these items. I can't remember which one it is now. We need to change that into a crafting station with a pattern on top. Yeah, the tool station. And now we just need the part builder. The part builder. 
I wonder. So if we make nine of those, was that right? Yep, yeah, dead wood. And then put this here. Yeah, there's the part builder. Right, I think. Yeah, so that we just need a furnace now. So we need some of this. Some of this stone. Let's just grab some of that. There we go, that'll be enough. Pop that in the crafting table. And there we go, a furnace. So let's just hand that task in. Good. So we can get a full guard pattern, some more charcoal, some more dead wood. And let's just check and see whether or not it's still dark outside. I'm going to have my pickaxe at the ready here. Okay, so it is still dark. All right. The next task is going to be, if I hadn't have come all the way out. So we've completed this one. Earthly possessions, gra grasping at straws. On closer inspection, some small amounts of grass, though dead, still remain in this wasteland. Maybe you'll be able to find some seeds or other useful materials amongst the dead, dry strands. Pasture seeds will let you grow dirt into grass. So we've actually got to cut down those um, pieces of dead grass and we're going we're gonna to get these items. Uh, well, we can't do that yet because it's too dark outside. Earthly possessions. With a bit of dirt, you can grow stuff and with a bit of stone, you can build stuff. What more do you want? Maybe these can be found in a subterranean environment. Well, we already know we can get stone, so we'll get some more of that. And let's dig down a little bit, and maybe we can get some, some dirt as well. So let's finish off getting the stone. So we need 32 stone in all. Well, that's going to be relatively easy. should be about it let's just put a torch down there and let's have a look how many have we got 29 so let's just get a couple more this wall here and now if we dig down so if we dig down here oh Make a new one of these. Broken. Right, so let's put down our uh, tool table so that we can actually get that repaired. And pop that there. So we're going to pop that in. We're going to pop some flint in there. Excellent. Job done. Okay. And we're going to carry on digging down here. light in fact let's just go and quickly check the daylight situation again because i'd quite like to get the uh seeds task done um in fact i'd quite like to get out of here right it is becoming daytime just gonna wait for the uh for the moon to go down just while that's doing just while that's doing that, let's just dump off anything that we don't need. So let's just lose the tinker stuff for a minute. And all of this. Don't need quite so many sticks here, do we? Put half of our food in there. Uh, I'm gonna save that bone mill. And we'll get our mattock out. And we safe. So we're safe. Let's cut down some grass. 
Oh, there we go. There was the first of the things. What was that that I just got? Floral fertilizer. This looks like this could be quite easy. Or not, as the case may be. Is there any longer grass anywhere? Uh, where does that go? No mud there, is there? Dirt, sorry. Let's not lose our little hidey hole. over here right let's just go and check this longer grass out over here see if we get anything from this i think i just got lucky on that first one to be honest oh no there's another there's another floral fertilizer Certainly not stuck for wood. And there's some mushrooms. Let me grab those. Hmm. Well, it would appear that these are not quite as uh, common as um, I thought they would be. So what I am going to do, save you just watching me cut down bits of grass, is I am going to go and cut down a whole lot of grass. And once I've got the items that I need, I will be right back. Okay, well, we are back, and uh, I managed to gather all the resources required for the grasping at straws task. Um, I've done a little bit of further mining, and um, I found some sand. Uh, and um, I've also found some dirt. So we are just going to grab this up, and I'm hoping... There's going to be enough here in this little vein of dirt for me to finish the other task. Let's just pop another... Oh, no, I don't want to pop that there, do I? just want to pop a torch there so we can see what we're actually doing. There's one over there, so let's just go and grab one over here. Oh, I also discovered... You don't need the tinker's table that you can just pop it in a crafting grid. Look at that, fixed. Everybody's probably screaming, I knew that already. To be fair, it was, probably was fairly obvious. There we go. How many have we got? Well, we've got plenty for now. So let's just make a little step here and let's get ourselves back out of here. Is that all lit up? It is. Excellent. Back up to our little hidey hole. And uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to, it's just here. I am going to grab out my furnace and I am going to cook up a piece of sand. I just want to make a piece of glass so that in future um, I can see whether it's still night or not. There we go. So let's put our piece of glass out here. So we'll put that, we'll just pop that there. And now we can see. So we know it is still, it is still night. Let's just turn off the NEI grids. Excellent. And I'd quite like to know where that's coming from. That's quite an eerie noise. 
Okay, so we can hand this in and we get uh, we get our dirt and stone. We can also choose marble or limestone. I'm going to choose marble. And then grasping at straws. Ah, we haven't got pasture seed yet, so we're going to need to go back out in the daytime and we are going to have to go and get some pasture seed. But we have run out of time for episode one, so thanks for watching. If you would leave a like, that would be most appreciated. Um, if you subscribe, that would be absolutely brilliant. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.